Hi, I'm April Anderson, and I am here today at Man Casting to speak with Stephen Mann, who is the owner of Man Casting, on what you can do to make it in showbiz. One of the questions I wanted to ask you, um, and this is a question for uh, young actors, old actors, whoever. Mm -hmm. What is the best way that they can increase their chance of landing a job in this industry? Whether it be commercial, movies, stage. I think it would be easier for me to say, to give you ideas of what not to do rather than what to do. We're dealing in a volume business now. Everybody seems to want to be an actor. Everybody wants to get into this business, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, and I always say that it should be fun. And if it's not fun, you shouldn't be doing it. Because a lot of people, they're not necessarily making a living as actors. Everybody has a secondary income. You know, a lot of people, when it comes to commercials, they put a little bit too much into it. Um, I find that people come in here... Like overact. Overact. Okay. Or they go really big. And I always say to people, watch the commercials. It's yeah. just be yourself. Yeah. Tap into that energy when you're hanging out with your friends, you're on a patio, you're having a glass of wine or a cold beer, and people gravitate towards you. And yeah, because you said it puts the directors off. If it's too big, oh, and there's good. pressure on them. They're thinking, okay, is this person... Are they thinking, is this person going to be difficult to work with? Because I know... I've gone into auditions nervous and mm -hmm. I've landed a couple jobs with mm -hmm. man casting as you know. Yeah. I just always remind myself don't go overboard. No. You you I remember the boundaries. Like okay, there are boundaries here. Mm -hmm. These people are not my friends like you were saying. They're not yeah. your friends. You're yeah. there to get a job like any other job. Totally. I think it's easier for Let me just back up and say that when I read a director's treatment when I speak to a director or I speak to agency creatives, yeah. they always say the same thing, subtle. Everything should be subtle. Right. When you look at commercials, there's no overreaction. Sometimes it could be just simply taking a sip of coffee or yeah. looking over, over the, people just feel this need to just go big and it'll turn a director off. It's easier to bring you up than it is to bring you down. And you know what, I have an interesting story to tell. I was talking to a director, I was doing a commercial last year mm -hmm. and he told me this and I'm not sure if you've ever heard this before, but he said, that how he picks his talent mm. and how he thinks a lot of directors pick their talent is oftentimes the person they pick reminds them of someone they know right. or a family member. Is that true? It could be. I mean, I've been doing this for so long and I've done so many jobs and I still probably couldn't articulate to you exactly how the process is selected, how okay. people are, are picked. Okay. It's, it's, oh shit, it's crazy. It really depends on so many factors. Remember, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. There's a lot of people that yeah. have their opinions and there are a lot of people that gravitate to a certain actor there are certain people that don't okay. um you know again i could probably tell you what not to do easier than what i could tell you to do okay. I mean, one of the simple things to do is that if you're going in for a business role yeah have a business suit yeah. if you're going in for a blue collar role like right. look the role give right. the agency and the director the opportunity to visualize you as okay. that character Remember, before we do the casting, this is just an animatic or a storyboard. When you come in to do the casting and they view the casting, this is the first time they've seen that script, right. that idea actually playing itself out. Yeah. So sometimes it works, sometimes it may not work. Yeah, yeah. And then the director and the agency, they tweak it and they make it, they make it right. But people, actors, of all ages should just keep trying though, right? I mean, don't give up if they don't really Don't give love up, it. but yeah. also be realistic. There's, yeah. there's people that, they put so much pressure on themselves. It's hard. It's hard. You're in a business where it's all about validation. Do you like me yeah. or do you not like me? Yeah. Chances are people are not going to like yeah. you. Yeah. I know. People are easily offended. People are not everyone's likable. Yeah. I think that's one thing you have to get over. And one thing is, is you know, there's a lot of actors in Toronto that, um, and I'm speaking strictly from a commercial level. There's so much talent that aren't necessarily commercially viable. They don't okay. have that consumer identifiable kind of energy. I right. always use this term. Sometimes it's the people that are memorably forgettable okay. are the ones that work a lot. Right. Not necessarily the people that stand out. You could okay. be an amazing stand-up. You can yeah. be so skilled at improv. But yeah. taking your skills and putting them into this box that we give you in that room for a commercial, some people just, they don't excel at it. There's right. an art to auditioning. Right. People just, they just try too hard. Yeah, so don't try too hard. No. That's the main point <laughs> we're trying to get across here. And I've, I mean, I, I don't think I ever, I never fell into that pit. Like, I never felt, you know what, I don't need to try too hard here. And I, I just never got into that habit. So, I mean, if I, any of my friends ever go, I, mm. I do often tell them, you know what, just go in there and be yourself. Totally. And just, you know, be polite, be nice, you yeah. know, humor them a little. If you if if that feels comfortable, I wouldn't take any comedic chances. <laughs> 
I've seen people I, just fucking die. I like, take comedic chances. Listen, if you look, you know what? If you can make somebody laugh, that's the best thing, yeah. obviously. But no, they have. I think I've. I, I, right. I, I don't think I've ever put anyone off. Listen, you know, once you leave, you leave everything in that room. Yeah. Don't carry it. Don't worry about yeah, it. Don't yeah. wonder, am I going to get it? Am I going to get the part? Am I going to get the part? Chances are you're not. Yeah. And if you do, it's a bonus. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And when you go in there, don't shake anybody's hand. Don't right. look at the director's name and add them on Facebook. I know. I agree with that because then it's like, who's this person that I don't know adding me to Facebook? Right? It's so much pressure for them. Like, we're not friends. Like, we're, yeah. we're working together. Like, right. Right. And I found that the agent that you choose, it's really important to have a good emotional, intellectual connection with them. Otherwise, right. it's like a, a therapist-patient relationship. Yeah. If you don't have the right agent, things aren't gonna happen. Okay, there's a lot of great agents in Toronto, but like you said, it has to be the right fit. There are so many yeah. different personalities. This whole business that we work in is predominantly based on relationships. Yeah. If you, know, if you don't connect with somebody, don't be with them. If somebody makes you, puts you off or makes you feel inadequate, right. I mean, there's a lot of actors that, you know, they're needy. They, they need to be validated. They need to, yeah. to, to that, that sort of extra push to keep going. And they yeah. need to get that from their agent. They need to know they're great. They yeah. need to know when they need to make changes. They need to trust them when they get new headshots or maybe go out and do this role that you may not want to do or do background. Right. Whatever it may be, it has to be a fluid relationship. If you're not comfortable with your agent and you're just there because you, you've got an agent, you feel like you're being successful because you have an agent, no. And, and you were talking about being validated. I think that it's like any relationship. If you constantly feel like you're being invalidated yeah. by your agent, mm -hmm. then it's probably not the right fit for you. Oh God, no. If, if, you, if you're taking shit from your agent, like get the hell out of there. Okay. Like, there's okay. just no point. I mean. They... And but some people don't always know that. They think, you know, this agent has a great reputation. Right. I've heard they get people lots of jobs, right. but I would say go with your gut. Listen, I'm, uh, I believe change is good, you know, yeah. to put it in like a hockey term. You can have a guy that's really struggling, that's scoring 15 goals a game, and then he gets yeah. traded to a new team, and all of a sudden he's a 30-goal scorer. Right. It's just about, right. you know, landing in the right spot. And just one other thing. What? Every <laughs> actor is replaceable. And that's, that's I... really the truth. Okay. Everybody is replaceable. Yeah. Stay humble. Always be humble. Carry right. yourself properly. There's so much arrogance and cockiness in our industry. Yeah, I think that's so important too. I think that I think that casting directors remember you when they know, you know what, this girl's just really nice or this guy's totally. just a nice guy. He's going to be easy to work for and you know what? He he looks like the type of guy I would hang out with. Totally. Yeah. Just go in and just be yourself. Be friendly. Casting directors, we need you as much as you need us. Um, there are people that are afraid to come and talk to us. That's crazy. Yeah. We're all in this together. And you said that you use your room as an impromptu sort of chat room. If you have talent actually coming in here, absolutely. If they're stressed or to talk to you, what are they talking to you about? They're like, talking to me about everything, from relationships to <laughs> changing agents to oh shit, anything. I mean. Look, I made sure that there's a big window here in my office, yeah. uh, in my old office, my whole office was glass. I need to be accessible to the actors. They need to be able to see me and I need to be able to see them. Right. Unless I'm really crazy busy. There are times actors will come in here because I have a pretty open sort of policy where I'll just be like, dude, I can't talk. Yeah. And they yeah. respect that. But a lot of times I like to get a pulse on what's going on. I like to know what people are up to. And, and it's also nice to hear people's problems because they make yours seem not as bad. Right, exactly. So you're very accessible that totally. way. Totally. That's great. I mean, totally. I, I probably come here the most for my auditions. Mm -hmm. I have been to other casting agencies. Yeah. You're the only owner that I've actually met. Mm -hmm. And because mm -hmm. I would always wonder, who's that guy mm -hmm. through that glass window? Yeah. And I always thought, you know, you kind of like peek out and you kind of look and you kind of wave and smile sometimes, mm -hmm. um, but not over the top, like no. it, like kind of mysterious, but in a good way. Well, you come in here all the time, so we should yeah, have made yeah. eye contact and just yeah. you know said hello. There are certain new people that, like again, there's so many people, I can't be friends with everybody. Right, right. Um, but if you look at my Facebook page, you probably assume I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, most of the people that I network and socialize with are either actors or my staff. Yeah. Um, and that's the community that I'm in, and, and I call our industry a community. We're all right. in it together. We all work together. and. If I don't have a relationship with you, it's only because I, I, I don't even know why. I mean, I, I'm here. I'm here to, you can approach me, you can talk to me, you can ask me questions. Yeah. 
I need actors as much as they need me. If right. they look good, I look good, and right. that's the goal. So when you walk in here, we don't want to set you off. We don't want to make you nervous. We don't want to make you uncomfortable. We want you to walk into a really super chill, comedic, fun So that's the mood you set. That's the Absolutely. culture. Because you said to me, you said, if we're not having fun or if, if, if it's, it's not it, fun, it's, it's just work. It's just work. Totally. Yeah, which I think is a really good And we great have so much quote. fun. Like, yeah, it's a business and we conduct ourselves appropriately, but we have to laugh. We have to be silly. We have, right. to, we have to have a good time. I mean, shit, it's, it's, you have to or it's not going to be fun. There's too much stress. Yeah, perfect. Mm. Yeah, I think that's definitely advice that they can take with them, um, especially people that are desperately passionate about acting, and there's so many, because it's oh, such a so great many. art. I it's, mean, It's wonderful, but yeah. you know, I always tell people, please be realistic. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it's hard to make it as an actor, and yeah. there are a lot of people that are, that are getting really down and getting to that point where it's like, do I get out? Do I get out? Yeah. And sometimes I'm not going to bullshit people. I'm not going to shit I say keep it. another job. Well, keep, keep another, another job, job while yeah. you're doing it. I mean, for me, I'm 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 a broadcast journalist, mm -hmm. and I only just became a journalist a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but I always had another job, and this is just sort of fun money for me. Now yeah. I know that there's a lot of serious actors that this is not just fun money. This is, you know, they want to get to L.A. or right. New York right. and and eventually make up there. And I think that you can be seen and and you can get known with commercials, especially if you land something. Well, you've got a better chance of getting known by posting, you know, a video of yourself yeah. and your fucking cat on YouTube now. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, true. It, it's so it's so fractured. The whole process. It's it's really it's it's who you know. It's luck. You just have to you just have to know when to to draw the line. I mean, if you're not making any money, you're not booking commercials. You're not. Then yeah. sometimes it's you know it's best to cut bait and try something else. If yeah. you like to act, maybe you can write. If you like to write, maybe you can produce. Right. If you can produce. I mean, there's so many branches on this tree that we work from. Yeah. Find your spot. Great. Yeah. Okay, Stephen. Mm. Thank you so much. Man casting with the big accessible window for everyone <laughs> to look through. Thank you so much. Work. Bam. Okay, we are going to check out the new man casting workspace here, or studios. Yeah. Um, how long have you guys been here? Since January 1st. It's big? It's not bad. It's, uh, you know, it's, it suits our needs. This is where the <laughs> actors sit patiently and wait to go in and have their dreams and lives shattered. Um, not really. Not really. Well, not really. <laughs> Um, and then uh, we have two studios over here. Yeah. Uh, this is this is Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hello. I'm April. Nice to meet you. Hi, April. Ashley is kind of like the um, I'm not a Trekkie, but the the the, the captain. Who's the captain? Oh, my goodness. William Shatner. <laughs> yeah. She's like the William Shatner, and she's, she's Canadian. Here. In here, we're doing a uh, little casting today. Um, as you can see, it's groundbreaking I've been in this stuff. Room. I've been in this room uh, people are, are, are blowing out a candle. Yeah. Uh, those who don't know how to blow out the candle properly, they wind up sort of like, a, you know, they're, they're, they're done, they're finished, their careers are over. But how many yeah. people coming in and out of here every week? Oh God, anywhere between, on a slow week, uh, 200 on a busy week. 1500, 2000, it really depends. Okay. Um, That's but a here's, lot. here's what I call the narcissistic room. Okay. It's my second studio. Okay. And the reason I call it that is um, I have my name up in lights, which is extraordinarily narcissistic. I actually spoke to my staff and I said, you know, should I put my, my name up there? It feels <laughs> kind of douchey. And they said, well, that's the name of the company. And I said, it's still douchey. Oh, this is really important. These are mints. And we give these to the clients. And what you do is you, you open up a mint like this, and then you put it in your mouth. <laughs> it's amazing. They do their little scene, and then they feel really bad, and they beat the shit out of themselves, and they, <laughs> they take their shattered lives out this door, and they go on to the next one. But it's not all shattered lives. No, I'm there's just still, playing around. No. A lot of, there's a lot of people landing parts. There's a of ton of people. Yeah. There's so much talent in this business. I say Toronto is New York light. We have an incredible pool of talent. We have incredible crews, directors, agencies. It's it's a great city. I love my city. People come in here and people make a lot of money here at Mancasting and it's great. And uh, you know. And the tips and advice are be yourself. Be yourself. Don't get too nervous. No. And don't be too big. 
don't be too big, come in wardrobe, you know, speak to your agent, is there a script, make sure you get the script. Yeah. Um, if it's SOC and there's no dialogue, we usually post a storyboard for the actors, get the storyboard, come equipped with as much knowledge to give yourself the best opportunity, don't come in cold. You're better off not coming to the audition than coming in clueless. Right. You have no chance. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Word. Word.